Hello, welcome, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fighter Jet Roundtable Season 3, Episode 12. Yes, Episode 12. We've sat through 12 of these things, or at least I have. I can't speak for all of you, but, uh, you know, hey, I, I get to sit through every single one, <laughs> even if I don't want to. <laughs> So, everybody's saying, oh, Kaz, where the hell has the episode been? Well, um, well, we had some BDA issues that needed solving, and then one of our mods got updated, and it broke a lot of things, and so we had to get everything fixed. And then life hit me like a sack of bricks. But don't worry, my wonderful aircraft-oriented friends. We are back and ready to throw down for episode 12. So, let's get down to the watchtower on the round table and see what I have in store for all of you today. So, here we are with most of our competitors for this episode. Uh, starting off on the far side here, we have the AFX-11 Baldris sent in by Jim and Saw, or Jim the Third, as we also like to call him. Very sleek looking aircraft, very wide stance on the runway. Uh, not where I probably would have put the gear, but you know, hey. Well, since, since when does Kaz build planes? <laughs> Never. Anyway, as far as what it's got, it's got some pulse lasers on the sides there for its special weapon, Mica IRs and Meteor air-to-air -air missiles looking uh, quite sleek and slick, if I do say so myself, especially for those custom intakes. Uh, provided by Stardust. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Very sleek plane. Moving on to the JCS-07 Apex Predators. This uh, being half of the team. You're familiar with Android and Lethal Dose at this point in time. This is actually Android's craft. I just grabbed the first one that popped up in my selections and this happened to be that. So this is the YX-70 Burning Falcon. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they're all single and they're both of these aircraft uh, on this team are single engine uh, and TRTE aircraft. Um, very similar to Raven's winning design from a while back. Uh, it's got the uh, DC Avenger, which is very cool, hiding under the cockpit there. Um, with the shark teeth on the gun, which is very cool. Four HPAAs, Mike IRs, and two R27 ETs. Uh, going for a long range, very heat centric loadout there. Uh, well, not exactly. It's got the long range heat seeking missiles, which is cool. Almost nobody's used them. Very nice. Over here, we have uh, the LF 18 Raven Mark II sent in by Lucas. And it's, it's just the weirdest thing, you know? This, this had some detail, uh, decals on it and stuff, you know? But, you know, they just didn't load. I, I wonder why. Just, you know, mixing, missing textures, you know? Hey, sad. Anyway, so this is uh, definitely an F-18 uh, here, looking quite cool, honestly, all things considered. Very uh, nice looking plane. 120Ds as uh, their uh, stuff there. Ugh. Sorry. Uh, Aim 9Xs. Very cool. Uh, fun pods, which are just gun pods. Uh, it's got lots of gun pods. Three gun pods. Uh, lots of dock on this thing. And uh, the R73Ms for heat-seeking missiles as well. 120Ds will be interesting too. We'll see how that goes. And last but not least, sent in by the entity known simply as Pi is the F-50A Golden Eagle. Very nice looking aircraft, really. Um, I'm sure it's based on the actual F-50 or some sort of thing like that. My aircraft knowledge is not god tier by any means. It's pretty good, but uh, looks just kind of like a precursor to the F-16 or something that could have been the F-16. But yeah, we have the AIM-9Ms. There, standard a AIM 9Xs, uh, BK 27s, QAMs, for the special weapon, and R 77s. These uh, look like very nimble little planes, honestly, so it'll be interesting to see how they compare to the rest of our friends here. In any case, enough talking by me. Let's go ahead and get our first round of planes into the sky.
So here we are at the start of the first bout here. We have the AFX 11s versus the F50A Golden Eagles. Uh, Jim and Saw versus Pi. Let's go ahead and get those things started and into the air. And competition starts for the first round of episode 12. Let's go ahead and hit that auto cam, click onto one of our aircraft here, and hit that fighter view. Very nice. Honestly, kind of nice to be back. You can hear those brand new missile sounds that we put in. Well, that I, I put in. Uh, thanks to Android for uh, going and recording those. Definitely sounds better than the stock KSP uh, rocket sound that they were using. Both aircraft now closing in. In addition to the new sounds for the missiles, uh, this comes after an overhaul to the special uh, upgrade missiles uh, to make them uh, a little more um, flare resistant. So not only do they reject flares beyond a certain angle, they also are less affected by them, particularly only the upgrade missiles. So should be interesting to see how that plays out this round. A lot of people are very, very scared of those upgrade missiles, as they really should be. Are they too scared? Are they too strong? Well, that remains to be seen. Our 77's now out and about there. The missile just flying on by, dropping chaff and flares. Plenty of chaff on this thing. Not dropping the chaff very quickly to keep its, uh, chaff count or its uh, deterrence very high. Still will be interesting to see how these planes behave when they get into the dogfight area. Golden Eagles firing a Quam now that they're getting close. Quam doing what Quams do. That was a good shot for the guns. Just miss. Quam looping. It's burnt out. Getting some BK-27 shots, I recognize that sound now. O'Neill firing an AIM-9X at close range. Whoa, proxy hit. Hard to tell, it didn't look like that was particularly deadly. To the proxy range. Whoa, in your face, AIM-9X, straight down the pipe. That's always rough. BK-27's uh, on the tail here of the AX-11's. And the BK-27 is the gun, for those not super familiar with it. I mean, pretty sure everyone who's watching this knows this. But in case you don't, one of the wildest getting knocked out in shirt, uh, short order, as it were. Turning off uh, autocam, this plane is pretty much dead. Uh, it has no weapons whatsoever and is basically just falling to the ground. And as if there was any doubt, it appears that the Golden Eagles will win round one. Let's go ahead and get these planes into a round two. And competition starts for round two. Let's go ahead, hit the auto cam once again. Let's take a look at the Golden Eagles this time as they fly in. Meteor's already out and about. This is also after a radar change uh, that we had to make to make uh, radar more friendly, shall we say, uh, with the new settings. God, I love that sonic boom sound. Oh, so good. Very nice flyby there of the Golden Eagles as they come in. Dropping chaff. Looking like they're evading a meteor. There goes that meteor zipping by. Got one of those uh, longer range missiles there. Longer range heat seeker, I think. Nope, that's, uh, never mind. That is actually a radar guided munition. My bad. <laughs> loads and loads of chaff on these things. We do 
really like those missile sounds. So much nicer to listen to, in my opinion. Quam away! Tracking on the Valdris. Ooh! It's missed its first flyby. It's coming around for its second. Only got a few more seconds of active time there. PK-27 hit. Taking a bit of damage on the tail section of that plane. Just not firing those pulse lasers. Aim9X looping, trying to come back around. Fired in a very high off foresight. Ooh, BK-27 slices off the wing. Oh, the Valdris. Valdris dropping, and the last one also dropping toward the terrain. Let's go ahead and watch from its perspective here. Oh, Quam Strike. That engine is trying its best to keep that plane upright, but uh, it doesn't really have much in the way of gimbling. Ooh, bonk against the ground. Gets back into the air. You can see the uh, high op boresight track capability of one of those uh, M9Xs as the Golden Eagle fires it. DK-27 absolutely lighting up the remains of the Valdris. And that means the Golden Eagles will be moving on to the finals. Nicely done. So here we are for the second bout of fights. We have the Burning Falcon and the Crow Team Apex Predators versus the LF-18 Ravens. Let's go ahead and start that competition. Raven here, or not Raven, but Lucas is a relative newcomer to the scene. Actually, the brother of Timmy, who uh, you may remember as one of the winners of the earlier rounds. So, uh, expecting great things. We'll see if greatness uh, and cheesiness runs in the family. And competition starts. Let's go ahead and click on the Ravens, I think. Uh, watch them come in first. Those fantastic missing textures there. Falcon and the Crow at very long range. Radar currently unable to detect them in the extreme range they're at. However, there appears to be an IRST on this, and it is picking up a heat signature. Not that this aircraft happens to be using any missiles that would make use of that. However, those 120Ds now are out and about prowling. Aircraft very, very fast. Not sure if they're speed limited. This is just zipping by there. Uh oh, Burning Falcon hit by a 120D. How's that looking? Looks like it was just a proxy hit. Not a lot of damage done. This plane is at a distance now, closing rapidly, however. Oh, Burning Falcon this time taken out very quickly. No, correction. One of the Ravens taken out by the Burning Falcon. I read that backwards. See those heat spikes from the IRST? Ooh, missile interception, very cool. Are we about to see some fun pod action? I sure hope so. Yes, we are, but we completely miss it because the camera changes. Either way, plane dead. Let's see how these two dogfight. Gun pods lining up. And, oh, so much lead! Whoa! Holy crap! The Ravens going to town with those gun pods. Very scary. Well, either way, the Ravens win round one. Any 
Here we go. Competition starts for round two. Let's this time look at... Well, we already looked at the Burning Falcon. Let's go ahead and look at the crow this time as it flies in. There we are. Get that auto cam. Not a whole lot to say as they fly in. Seems to be speed limited. Looks like we got 120Ds out again. Just about 25 kilometers out. One twenty C is being launched now. The aircraft continuing to close in together. 120Ds getting close. shot of those aircraft avoiding stuff as they fly through at high speed well over Mach. Ooh! <laughs> oh, missile streaking by! That was very close. Uncomfortably so. Might have been able to read the uh, serial number on the side of the missile. Ooh! <laughs> that one too! Ah, definitely not a place you want to find yourself, that's for sure. Missiles hissing and roaring! BAA out. Oh! Disintegrating the aft half of that with an HPAA. Getting some interesting teamwork. That Raven's not looking so hot. <laughs> but it's looking plenty hot to that Micah. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Goodbye. Raven. Solo Raven now. Just by itself. Let's go and watch from its perspective here. And it's something of a flat spin. HPAA coming in. Acting very much as a sucker punch. Apex Predators showing that they are not going to go down without a fight. They win round two, which means we are heading to the first round three of the episode. Whew, this is getting spicy. Here we go, the start of round three. One way or another, one of these teams is gonna make it to the finals. Hit, hit that auto cam and click on one of our aircraft here. Apex Predators tearing through the clouds on their way to engage their enemy. Interesting choice to try to go with uh, an IRST. Considering that I don't think either one of those uh, craft have anything to specifically make use of that. Maybe they planned to and then changed and just kept the upgrade. That's a possibility. Who knows? 120Ds are now out. Now diving, trying to stay away from those missiles as they come in. It's got the R-27 ETs out, at least one of them, trying to line up for a second shot, it looks like. And there it is, it's fired it. Those are long-range heat-seeking missiles, but very discerning warheads, well, very discerning uh, seekers, rather. R-73 trying to move in as best as it can. Now we're in the close range gunfight. We've already seen that the Raven is very good at this. Firing a missile, switching to gun pods. I'm almost certain, yes! And it is a one-two strike. Absolutely wailing on the Burning Falcon. That means the Crow is the only one of its kind, well, the only one of its team still left. Look at one of the Ravens as they fire on the crow here. Gun pods just eradicating that crow. Looks like air capability does indeed run in the family. 
Lucas will be moving on to the final. We are for the first round of the finals of episode 12. We have the LF-18 Ravens sent in by Lucas and Salmon Team consisting of the F-50A Golden Eagles sent in by Pi. Which one of these two competitors will be moving on to the grand finale? Well, enough talking by me. Let's get them fighting and they can speak for themselves. And competition starts for the first fight of these finals. Go ahead, and we'll click on the Golden Eagle. Hit that auto cam. Here we go. It's almost like uh, an F-16 versus an F-18. Almost, though not quite. One twenty Ds. Already out and firing. Those are very capable missiles. In theory, can be fired at just about any range, as long as they can detect the enemy. RWR going off, letting them know that those missiles have gone pitbull. Ooh, that was close. 120D barely missing that Golden Eagle. Whoa! Very close indeed. Raven uh, skirting the terrain here. You can see the lead aircraft just out in front as those R-77s come in. Almost hitting that secondary aircraft. Firing those missiles again. They come in. R 73s. Quam now selected. Quam in the air. From the Golden Eagle. Getting some DK 27 shots off. Aim 9X coming in. Aim 9X taking out the enemy Quam. Love seeing missile intercepts. It happens so infrequently. Ooh, Golden Eagle hitting one of the Ravens. Raven just showering the Golden Eagle with that gun. Huh, <laughs> one might even say it was a golden shower. <laughs> uh, good thing I don't care about getting monetized. And though it is sad to say, it looks like that Raven is going down. Yep, there it goes. We now have a, basically a 1v1. Golden Eagle getting some shots with the BK-27, though not enough to stop the aircraft. It is remaining on the tail of that crippled aircraft, though. Whoa! Pulling some uh, high alpha maneuvers and such there, trying to get those gun pods on target. Both these aircraft very nimble in the dogfight. This honestly could go either way. Raven still has gun pods and it crosses the nose! Absolutely shredded. Holy crap. Woo! That was a very spicy round one. Holy crap. Woo! Let's get to round two. And competition starts here. Go ahead and uh, hit that auto cam. This time we'll watch the Ravens as they come in. Oh, that's a cool shot. Look at that, a beautiful flyby. Man, I tell you, we have had some of the most gorgeous looking designs this season. I tell you. Those P-Wings and all the work that's gone into getting them to work, especially after the kerfuffle that was the most recent uh, updating for them. Really gotta say, they do create some of the single best looking designs I think I've ever seen. 
sure some of them are inspired by real-world aircraft, or actually just, you know, copies of real-world aircraft. But you can't deny that the possibilities are endless when it comes to shaping and people. P-Wings, of course, being maintained by Suicidal Insanity, one of the lead BDA developers who's also uh, been helping us a lot this season. So, of course, big shout-out to the BDA crew as we get a lovely flyby there of the Golden Eagle, showcasing just what still builders can bring to the table here. More close-range shots there of the missiles. We are actually running with the latest iteration of DLZ turned off, if only because uh, it's currently undergoing some reworks. The version we have currently uh, allows it to more or less function fine using some of the old capabilities of the system. But we don't have the more fancy stuff. And hopefully in the future we'll have something that fits our needs and can use the new DLZ reworks. Oh, quams! Exploding very close to their target. Looked like another missile intercept. Hard to say. Aim 9X being launched by the Golden Eagle. Tracking very close. High off Foresight coming in as it tries to turn in on a target. Explosions happening in the background. Oh, we got a ram! Wham in the air from the Golden Eagles. And an amazing BK-27, a double BK-27 pass by the Golden Eagles. Shredding the back of that Raven. We've got missiles and all kinds of other stuff going on here. The solo Raven not looking so hot as it were. It's only got some ammo left on the gun pods. Oh, and SmackDown, the Golden Eagle showing it is not ready to go down without a fight. We are heading to a very exciting round three. And here we go. This is the final match. There is no other chance for these aircraft to prove themselves. Let's go ahead and hit that auto cam. Either one of these aircraft could be the victor. There's no telling exactly which one it's gonna be. Both have proven they are incredibly deadly, incredibly capable aircraft. It is impossible to say. Honestly, I can't say which one I'm rooting for because they're both good planes. And I really have no favorites in this matchup. I would say, if based only on the special weapons and other such things that have been chosen, I do think that the Ravens have a very interesting setup as far as their gun pods. It's nice to see those actually get some use. Twenty D's zipping by for probably the last time here in this matchup. 77 getting close. Woo! Once again, could probably read the serial number on that missile. R77 zipping by without doing much. Another interception on the missiles. God, I love it when they do that. That's so cool. A9X now firing, tracking quite nicely. Ooh Up the tailpipe, clipping off the engines. That was a good hit. Clam now out and about. Flying. Yep, that Raven is heavily damaged there. Engine's completely gone. Still has firepower, but has no way to really control itself. It's basically floating to the ground. Oh, the intact Raven, though, lighting up for a joust on. They both barely managed to miss each other. Holy crap. That is absolutely terrifying. Raven hitting the ground there. This is the last Raven.
on fire, trying to get some shots on the Golden Eagle. Stuff is falling off that aircraft. Not sure. It looked like it might have been a missile. Oh, Quam tracking, heading toward the ground. And a combination of a maneuver kill and missiles just closes this out. Holy crap. Holy mackerel. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner for episode 12 of FJRT season three is none other than the F-50A Golden Eagle sent in by Pi. What a beautiful little aircraft it really is. Look at that thing. Incredibly detailed and incredibly deadly. Just goes to show you don't always need a super fancy design to make things great. It's basically just a tube with wings and it still kicks ass. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, I, as always, have been Kaz. And this has been episode 12 of FJRT Season 3. Once again, a super special thank you to all of my patrons who continue to support me and the content I create. My willingness to continue to put up with all these shenanigans and everything would not be nearly as high without all of you guys cheering for me in the background. If you like what you see, send me a like on the video, leave a comment below, give me suggestions for how I could possibly make things better if you really think that uh, it needs that much improving. And until next time. I've been Kaz, happy building, and happy blasting.